morning, Kennedy Dragons. Uh, welcome back from spring break. Hopefully you had an outstanding spring break. Today is Tuesday. It's April the 12th, 2022. It's the 145th day of school. Uh, we only have 31 more days of school after today. It's crazy. Uh, my name is Mr. Butcher. It's my job to keep you guys safe so that you can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, you've left your average at home or on the bus and you are ready. Ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. To have a respectful, respectful means treating others the way you want to be treated, and responsible day. Responsible is, means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. Speaking of responsibilities, the very first responsibility that we have every morning is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country. We do this by saying our Pledge of Allegiance, doing our school pledge, as well as our moment of silence. To show respect, we stop what we're doing, we stand up tall, we put our hands over our hearts like this, we say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you guys would please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I'll be respectful of myself my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Let's take this moment to reflect quietly on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. The second responsibility that we have each day is to try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We do this by frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to uh, use soap and water if we can't have if we don't have access to a sink. An alcohol-based hand sanitizer will be sufficient, but you always want to use soap and water if you can. When we wash our hands, we want to get all parts of our hands, the palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, our fingertips in between our fingers, our wrists, and our thumbs. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're doing it for at least 20 seconds. Let's model what good hand washing looks like now. Get the palms of your hands. Get the back of your hands. Get the back of your other hands. Get in between your fingers. Get your fingers. Get your other set of fingers. Get your thumb. Get your other thumb. Get your wrist. And get your other. Now your hands should be nice. And clean. All right, now that we've washed our hands, we've uh, done our pledges and our moments of silence, let's start with today's birthdays. We have two birthdays today. Salisi Teddy is 11 years old, and Hannah Sitton is 9 years old. We'll make sure you guys get your birthday ribbon. All right, for lunch today, that's our next responsibility to make our lunch choice. For lunch today, uh, the choices are mini corn dogs, uh, baked beans, fruit cocktail, and Rice crispy. If you guys do not want mini corn dogs, you can always get PB&J or yogurt and muffin. Teachers, uh, just like uh, Miss Rhonda said this morning, there are no salads today. And there will All right, it's time for our morning message. Today's morning message is on being productive. A great reminder after coming back from spring break. Being productive, having courage, and overcoming obstacles. Have you ever thought about what's inside a bulletproof vest that is strong enough to stop a bullet? That material is called Kelvar, a fiber that is five times stronger than steel. Kelvar was invented by a scientist named Stephanie Kwolek. She went to work as a scientist in 1946 when women weren't work welcome into science laboratories. Even though people back then didn't think women were as smart as men, she stayed in the lab, she worked hard, and eventually became famous for her discovery. Listen to what Ms. Kowek says to us today. 
I have never thought in my life that my only goal was to be happy. I think my goal was to be productive. And along the way, being productive made me happy. Today, remember this. If you work hard and you get things done, you'll feel better about yourself and the world will feel better about you too. With something to think about, I'm Mr. Butcher. Make today your masterpiece or not. Remember, the choice is yours. And that's true. If you want to be happy, you got to get things done. Get things done. You know what? Things don't just come to us just because we're good looking or we're smart or because we deserve it. Things happen when you put the work in to make them happen. And when they happen, that's what makes us happy. So let's put the work in today, get things done, and do our job. That is all we have for announcements. So please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed to student, student success. I love you very much. Have a great day. for the month of April will all be poems because April is National Poetry Month. So each week we'll give you a different type of poem and then each day we'll give you an example or two of that type of poem. Our first poem that we're going to start with is a haiku. H-A-I-K-U. A haiku is a, a Japanese poem that has three lines. Just three lines. On the first line, there are five syllables. On the second line, there are seven syllables. And on the third line, there are five syllables. A lot of times they're about nature, but you can make your haiku about anything. So here's an example of a haiku, a three-line poem. The first line with five syllables, second line with seven, the third line with five. Beaches by Caitlin Gunther. Sand scatters the beach, waves crash on the sandy shores, blue water shimmers. Here's another one called Road Trip Haiku with Kids. Music on, windows down. We're not even late yet, but someone has to pee by Kate Miller Wilson.